serve as a driving force in your story. Therefore, as a writer, you need to understand the different character types. In this video, I will help you get an understanding of some of these character types by evaluating their traits, roles, and conflicts they experience. Don't skip this video. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Precious Osika. I write, edit, publish, teach you how to write and get paid. I create amazing videos and voiceovers. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for watching my videos. And if you are new to my channel, oh, you're very much welcome. Uh, do well to subscribe and of course, turn on uh, your notification bell. Please don't forget to drop a comment on this video. Thank you. Now let's get started. If you watched my previous video, uh, where I discussed about the elements of a story, I said that a character is very essential when it comes to a story. Yes, because a character there yeah, can be a person, animate or inanimate, portrayed in a story or even portrayed in a book or a movie. Okay, and without characters. Well, the story is of no use. So who is going to drive the plots? Who is going to make the story interesting? There are no characters, right? Okay, now let me take you through the different characters. The first one is protagonist. Okay, a protagonist is the main character in a story. Yes, the protagonist is the central, like the central person. The person who drives the story forward, pursuing a goal. Okay, so uh, stories can have more uh, than one uh, protagonist. And this one thing people always say, uh, a lot of uh, writers and even those who are not in the literary space, they are always saying that um, uh, characters, that is the protagonist, must be a good person well it's not all the case okay the protagonist can be good uh, the protagonist can be bad we are going to look at that very soon now let's go further okay now looking at the types of uh, protagonists we have the villain protagonist that's what i said now the villain protagonist is the bad person okay that bad guy <laughs> that is devoted to doing um evil all right in that story okay now the character that particular protagonist most times the aim is to drive the story forward and also have the audience um, sympathy okay now we have the hero okay or heroine right okay for the male and of course for the female okay now the hero uh, those who kind of you know overcome uh, their struggle or their conflict to achieve a goal in the story yes okay i hope that's clear enough now let's look at the antagonist an antagonist is the person who opposes the protagonist okay and one thing you must note is an antagonist is not only a person okay an antagonist can also be events organizations creatures forces don't worry let's go for that you understand it better okay now the very first one for the antagonist we have here is the villain you get it now this particular villain that is of course opposing the protagonist okay now we have different types of villain. Uh, we have the mastermind. You know, there's somebody always planning that evil somewhere. <laughs> okay. And of course, we have the evil uh, villain. We have the henchman. Okay. We're going to go further on that. Now we have the conflict antagonist. Okay. Um, the conflict antagonist, all right, uh, doesn't have to be the bad guy. I want you to understand this clearly. Okay, uh, this one may not necessarily be the bad guy, but their own um, goals are actually in conflict. Okay, they are in conflict, they are in opposition to that of the protagonist. I hope this is clear. 
Yes, sometimes, not all the times. So that is why I said not all the times they are the bad guy. It's just that here, there are goals, okay? The goals of this particular people are in conflict with that of the protagonist. Okay, now we have the inanimate forces. Yes, there are things that just happen that you can control. They are all part of what opposes the protagonist. So, an, an example here is uh, nature. Okay, nature. Uh, if you have, um, if you have seen, okay, uh, Robinson Crusoe, you would find that that um, in that particular uh, um, work, the antagonistic force there was the sea. Okay, what's the C? All right, we have self antagonists. Okay, yes. So the main source of conflict in the story here yeah, can be in form of that main character's own self. Okay, their shortcomings, their insecurities. Remember, we normally we humans, right? And we have flaws. Okay, uh, we have flaws. We have things bothering us. We have our own self-conflict. So this particular one can actually be the self-antagonist. Um, so let's look at love interest. Yes. Okay. Now the love interest is the protagonist object of uh, desire. Okay. Uh, a good love interest must be very compelling, mm -hmm. very, very interesting. If you have read my novel, uh, The Wall and the Flower, you will find out that um, Meyer was a very good uh, love interest to the male protagonist, okay? So the person has to be compelling, oh yes. And there are different types in this case. We have the romantic type of love interest, we have the sexual type, and we have the platonic type. So you see that um, when it comes to understanding characters, is a very broad topic, a very broad topic. But with this video, um, you are going to have at least the first-hand information. It will be, be too difficult for you. When you see these things, you will be able to identify them. Okay, let's go to confident. Yes, of course, we know a confident, right? The best friend or the sidekick of the uh, protagonist. Yes, oftentimes, um, these protagonist goals flow through the confidence. Yes, because, of course, we are humans and um, we are not an island of our own, right? So we need somebody who we'll talk to. Yes, somebody who would make us see... Um, Maybe this side of our goals or direct us to a point of direction. Okay, so the confidence is there to do justice to that. Now we have the minor uh, character. Okay, yes, of course they have to be uh, minor characters because the story, when you're writing the story, we have the major, the people we are, you know, who are the forefront, right? But there are other characters that need to be there too. Also put a spice in that story to still help us drive a certain plot, okay, or certain events in the story. Yeah, okay, they may not be major, like I said, but uh, they are necessary. They are necessary. Okay, let's go to dynamic character. Right, so... There's somebody in that particular story, okay, there's that person, okay, who changes over the course of the story. So, it's very possible that at the very beginning, this particular character um, may be evil or wicked, okay, or they may be so stiff-necked in certain decisions. And then maybe over time, in the course of the story, they change, okay, they might change. Yes, they might change completely, or there might some be some effects, all right? So we can place them under a dynamic character. And now we have the static character, all right? The static character does not change over time, okay? They don't tr transform, uh, they don't evolve. They are just there. There's nothing. Nothing is adding to them, okay? Nothing is adding. They're, they're not growing. They're not doing anything. Nothing special. Okay, now we have the four character, all right, um, four character opposed uh, to those of the main uh, character, okay, there are certain traits that the main characters have 
But this set of people, these four characters, are opposed to um, those traits. Now, I want you to understand something here, uh, because you might think maybe these people are antagonists, but understand something clearly. The four character, okay, exists to bring the protagonist qualities into sharper uh, relief, okay, okay? It makes them understand themselves better. So it's very good to um, have these set of characters. All right. Now, I hope um, you've been able to understand these different types of characters. And by now, you'll be able to identify them. Okay. If you have any question, of course, you can drop it on the comment section. Yes, I am going to attend to you. And you can watch all the videos in the creative uh, writing playlist. There are other videos there for you to watch. Okay. Thank you so much uh, for listening to me.